Hi, Cerispris here, back with another Antivirus Mentions New Game Minus 4 video, episode 31, and it's been actually not even that long, it's been like 18 hours, which is short by my standards, at least between like recordings, and you can see I can get a couple of upgrades. And yeah, I have 5 E6 Infinity Points, this is not worth it. So I'm going to skip that one, instead I will get this one, and this. And I know this is a repeatable upgrade. Hopefully, this is just gonna allow like eight galaxy runs. That's re that's really the only thing. Like, let's see if I just like disable my big crunch auto buyer and I go to eight galaxies. Is that gonna be better? Just just let let's see if it is. Am I? Yeah, that is eight galaxies. But yeah, so I probably wanna crunch at it's like fourteen hundred. Um, I gotta look more closely here. Yeah, it's like, if I do 1.45 E3, that's about what I'm getting here. I should be able to, like, what, what am I getting? I'm getting, yeah, 3.5 E4 infinity points per minute. It's not that much of an increase. Um, I mean, it, it's decent, but it, it seems like, um, I, I'm not even sure what I had before. I, I think it was like 2.5 E4, so it's, yeah, it might have actually been 1.5 E4. No, it had to be 2.5 E4 per minute. So, th this is going to allow even faster infinity points. And this, hopefully, means that I'll be able to get the infinity point doubler in not too long. I mean, at this rate, I'm getting probably around 2 E6 per, oh yeah. It was at 1.5 e6 per hour. Now it's 2 e6, so it's not. It's it's a 30% boost in infinity points. That's not bad. So um, that's going to be enough to get the doubler. I'll not record that because that's it's just a doubler. It doesn't really do much else. And then of course, and then I'll try to get this upgrade and do the challenges again. So I could also go for the for galaxy points, but I don't really think, I mean, I can get nine galaxies, but I don't really think it's going to do all that much. I mean, even with the time dimension, I mean, it is 7,000 tick speed upgrades, but the galaxies are kind of weak. I, I don't, it would, it would take forever to reach E22 galaxy points, and I'm getting infinity points quick enough that I think it's better to just go for infinity points. So, yeah, seen a bit... Okay, I'm back, um, yeah, days later, and, well, I, I luckily, I did get this off camera, and I'm just gonna get straight to this upgrade. This is the big one. Normal dimensions gain a multiplier based on the slowest challenge time, and this means I gotta speed up challenge times. I'm also gonna get this upgrade here, rather than, the, this one's pretty bad for what it costs right now, because I don't really need infinities. I'm just going to get this because this means that I won't need to have this grinding to actually be able to get infinity points. I'll be getting at least 5% of that. Like this is about 4 E3 per minute. That means I can get around... Okay, that's not much. No, no, it's 5 E6, not 5 E5. So, then there's a couple of other small upgrades. This one and this one's almost completely useless, but... Yeah, I'm just going to get them anyway, and... Well, it's time to try to do these challenges faster. So, I'm not exactly sure what the most optimal strategy to to get these done quicker is. You can see, a lot of them are very quick, but, like, okay. So, what, really what I want to do here is I want to have Automatic Galactic Sacrifice on, because that's what I'm going to need. And just doing that alone is probably going to make it... I, re okay, I really need to get rid of these challenge confirmations. I swear I've... I should also, yeah, this is probably good to automatically retry challenges, but I, I swear I keep turning this off and then it automatically turns on. Like, so I think what I need to do is just, if I just hold D, um, so I'm trying to, trying to complete the challenge. I don't even need to crunch. So just holding D down is probably the, the best thing here. So you can see it's, it's 1.2 seconds. So that's probably good for most of the challenges here. So that, that's, that's what I'm just going to do. Like hopefully one second or one, less than one and a half seconds is probably good for these challenges. Um, and may, maybe if I can get all of them down to this time, I will look for a more optimal strategy. 
than what I'm currently doing. Because this isn't exactly the most optimal, but you can see everything is under two seconds. This is a little bit longer. It's probably just because of the challenge itself. And all of these challenges are super easy to complete in a quick time. So, yeah, it's not even all that exciting. I'm just going to every challenge and I'm just holding the D key down. Just trying to get a fast time onto every one of these challenges. So... Yeah, now we're up to challenge 12. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is the one that actually needs I need a crunch on. This is this is gonna be the worst challenge by far, I think. I think, right? Or no, it says it's 1.3 seconds. Okay, maybe I don't I may just need a crunch the first time or something. I'm not exactly sure what it is. And then there's these challenges, which often can be buggy. They're both running at once. Why are they both running at once? That's so weird. Yet, I still got... That's so weird. Why are they both running at once? I did not know you could do that. You could have two challenges be running at the same time. That should be like a secret achievement in... Just for New Game Minus 4. So why all of a sudden can I not get anywhere here? What is this challenge? You can have up to 10 total dimension boosts, time dimension boosts, tick speed boosts, and galaxies. And I can't get a single galactic sacrifice? What? Oh man, this is, okay, this one's hard. Or maybe it's Bucky, I don't know. I'm just going to skip this one for now. Because this one is most likely going to be easy. And the last one's going to probably be easy as well. Yep. So, there is the achievement, not so challenging. I'm trying to, what even is that one? It's... Okay, I'll get some all under three minutes, which means that normal dimensions are stronger in challenges, and my game just froze for no reason. So right now, let's so let's see. The slowest challenge time is Galactic Sacrifice. It's 5.7 seconds. So I, I think that's just my previous challenge completion. And what this is going to do is this is going to be... Okay, that's actually disappointing. I thought it was going to be way stronger than that. I, because the, the previous slowest time was two minutes. That increased it by three orders of magnitude, which in New Game Minus 4 is nothing. Seriously. I guess I could try to lower this challenge time by being a little bit more careful about what I'm what I do here. Just by purchasing like you, you can just see like I probably probably just need to get like a galaxy or something. I I really think Okay, that that's pretty quick. That no, that's I didn't complete. I need to galactic sacrifice. That's the problem. Rather than crunch. And even with like this, yeah, this is definitely the worst challenge. I'm not exactly sure why this is so hard to do, but I think what I I think I just need to change my automation somehow. Like I need to disable, like, on my I have no idea what I have to disable here. Um, I I have no idea. I feel like this challenge is just bugged. Um. Oh, there's there's a galactic sacrifice except it disappeared because this challenge is crazy. I'm yeah. This this is the weirdest challenge by far. Because first I this said this big crunch. Did I do it? Yes, I did. 2.4 seconds. Okay, that's a little faster. It's going to be a pain to get this challenge down, and this upgrade is very, or just, it's just way weaker than I ever expected. So I guess I could just try to push as far as possible here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit the challenge and disable the big crunch auto buyer and just see how far I can get because, well, at least I did get an achievement, and these achievements do really help for... Like, just getting far. You can just see I'm already up to... I don't even have Dimension Boost on. Because, yeah, that was optimal somehow. So, just getting that. I'm already up to 8 galaxies. So, I should... Well, okay. I don't need this automated. But, yeah, now I have 9 galaxies. I can get Tick Speed Boosts. And I feel like this is a record of Antimatter. I think... I'm not quite sure. It's, it, look, it looks like I'm doing pretty good. I don't think I've ever had this much antimatter. If I can get the E1080 antimatter, that's a whole new... Um, I unlock 
the first infinity challenge. So that's, that's what I want to do. And I'm not exactly... I could try to implement Tixie boosts in just like regular runs just to try to make it um, faster, but you can see how many... I can get around... It seems like I can get all the way up to E18 galaxy points here, and that's going to be enough to be able to... Um, well, that's going to be... I'm going to be able to hit E21, and this pro or E21 in a day, but this keeps going up, so it's probably more likely I'm going to be able to get this last upgrade in a day. And this, if it squares this, which that means this exponent will double, and that could be pretty big because that's because that's E30 times. Like I'm not sure if it's before or after the dilation thing, but it's. At E30 times is quite a bit for, you know, it's like E4, E3, or E4 times. I mean, that's probably about 20 orders of magnitude of antimatter, and maybe 10% infinity point increase, but getting something like um, E30 times to normal dimensions, that could be big, because that, that could... I feel like I'll easily be able to hit E1080 antimatter from there, so that's what I'm going to do. I know this is very disappointing, but hopefully the infinity challenges will help. I know I am actually getting... I, I do know that the end game of this is actually sooner than you expect. Based, I'm, I'm just going to say the end game is not, not long after I get this upgrade. That's the end game of New Game Minus 4, so yeah, that'll be interesting. I'm, Already getting pretty close to E1000 antimatter here, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, I'm just gonna wait to get enough galaxy points for this upgrade. So yeah, seen a bit. Okay, I'm back a day later and I have E22 galaxy points, so I can get this. This is hopefully gonna double this exponent. Yeah, it did. So you can see I got E1060 antimatter. Now it's a little, now it's faster. And I think it's probably the best to just dimension boost here. And all I'm trying to do is just get to E1080 antimatter. There's actually a reset at E1073, so that, that's pretty cool. This will help me get all the way to... I'm just going to do the tick seed boost. It's gonna, I think it'll be faster in the long run, I think. Or not, because apparently it resets something that I have no idea. That somehow is probably the time dimensions... Because I have more time dimensions than... Yeah, that's probably what it was. Okay, that was not the good idea. And now I need to wait until E1080 antimatter. But this hopefully should not take longer than like an hour or so. And I'll be able to unlock the first infinity challenge. Which means I can hopefully finally have a breakthrough. I mean, I feel like... Okay, I have had a breakthrough recently. But the thing is, with the break infinity upgrades, there's nothing really powerful. This is super weak. These are not all that powerful. The first, like these, they get more and more powerful as you get more of them. But the be the first few are extremely weak. This is good for offline, but it's still still not all that great. So I think what I'm gonna do is next episode will be the first infinity challenge, and hopefully that will get things moving again. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.